Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. Crow. I believe that's how you say his name. Like, I would have to hear how they pronounce it because, you know, I only saw it on a comic book page. So sometimes you have an idea of how it sounds in your head and then you hear somebody else say it. But yeah, uh, Crow is the leader of the Deviants. Or at least that's how he appears most of the time in the context of Marvel Comics when you are dealing with the Eternals. So Marvel announced that Crow will appear in Marvel Studios' The Eternals as the villain. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, because the Deviants and the Eternals, man, they always be going head to head and shit. That shit is bad. Like, because the Celestials, they created the Deviants and the Eternals. And the Eternals are like all beautiful and perfect, pretty much. And the Deviants are like these grotesque, just these ugly motherfuckers. And like their genetics are unstable. You never know what the fuck you're going to get with a Deviant. Um, and some of them are like real strong and then others are not that much stronger than humans. So they, they vary in a way that the Eternals vary in terms of their abilities. But the Deviants are definitely below the Eternals. Um, but the Celestials, man, they did all kinds of experiments and shit. That's how we got the Eternals and the Deviants. And then they did experiments on the Kree and the Scrolls. So um, and then you had like a period where the Eternals they were looking after the human species because the fucking deviants and shit were trying to fuck some shit up. So it'll be interesting to see how they use somebody like Crow uh, in the context of the MCU because these Eternals and Deviants, they're pretty much immortal. There's only like two ways that you can really defeat them. And, uh, you know, they have to, re they have to be um, defeated by somebody of just great power, Celestials, or... You know, you have to find a way to like more or less get them to drop their will because they have like a hold over their bodies and shit. And it's all based on their willpower and how they control their mind, which allows them to regenerate from different injuries and stuff like that. Um, so I wonder how much they're going to explain all that in the context of an MCU movie, because there seems to be a lot of agenda shit wrapped up in here. You know, a lot of the race and gender swapping and all this kind of stuff. And I hope they don't pull away from how interesting these characters are. I mean, hell, uh, at one point, the Eternals even fought Apocalypse and they whooped his ass. You know, they thought he was dead, but he survived the exchange. But I mean, there's so much you can do uh, with Crow being a deviant and shit and the Eternals. So I really do wonder how they're going to use him. But this is interesting. Um, I can't say that I'm like this huge fan of the Eternals and the Deviants and all that stuff, but I am aware of them based on my reads of Marvel Comics. So I know enough to where, you know, they do an MCU movie, I'll be fine in terms of whatever information that they're going to give us with some, not some, but a lot of tweaks that they have made to these characters. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they play out and what they do. But um, hopefully we get something good in Crow, man, because... With these MCU villains, you only got really like five or six of them that are really good and the rest just kind of service the plot, but they don't really stand out in any way. I hope that Crow stands out as a villain and not just somebody that shows up and gets killed in five seconds. Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know, and then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. And until next time, Terrence out.